In this question, we are told that if 7 plus y is equal to 4 under modulo 8, we are to find the least value of y in the case in which there is a range of value for y that 10 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 30, meaning that we have 10 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 30. This implies that the values of y that we can use will start from 10, 11. We have 10 because it said less than or equal to. That or equal to qualifies 10 to be there. So 12, 13, 14, up to 28, 29, and 30 is also included. So these are the values that we are concerned about. But we need to understand how to carry out operations under modulo 8. Now, we have done an extensive video on modulo arithmetic. You can do well to check out that particular video. The link is being flashed now, or you can also check the link in the description to this video so that you can have a good grasp of how to solve questions on modulo arithmetic. We use very simplified um, method for you to get it. We use a clock in which we have the clock is operating under modulo 12. Okay. So you can actually relate with that to understand the video. But for this particular case, when we're talking about modulo 8, that means that we're talking about the multiples of 8. Okay. So modulo 8, we imply that we are talking about multiples of 8. For example, we have 8 times 1, that is 8 times 2, 16, times 3, 24, times 4, 32, times 5, 40, and so on. All right. Now, looking at this first case, we are, if you want to say that the value of y can be 8, you want to say that 7 plus 8, but already they are saying that y should be a number starting from 10. So we cannot look at 8. So this is knocked out. Then we need to move to 16. In short, 8 is knocked out. 32 is also knocked out. 40 is also knocked out. Why? Because those values already, they are not within the range of value that we are given, which is between 10 and 30. So we need to work with 16 and 24. Okay. Now, if you want to do that, in the first case, we are told that um, we have 7 plus y is equal to 4 under modulo 8. Now, under modulo 8, like I explained before, means that we are using multiples of 8. Now, this 4 is actually the remainder. That's why you need to check that video for you to understand it. It's the remainder. Then, it will be adding to the multiples of 8. And since we've knocked out 8, the next multiple that we can use is what? Is 16. So, we have this as 16. Or, if that is not the case, the other case is for us to say we have 7 plus y is equal to 4 plus the multiple of it. And what is that next multiple of it that we have? It is 24. So, either of this is going to give us our answer. But, look at the caveat. We are told that we are to find the least value. So, we should put that in mind. That is either of these two. But we are looking at the solution with what? The least value among the two. So, if we are to just solve that, we can say, yeah, we are going to have 7 plus y is equal to 4 plus 16 is 20, such that y will be 20 minus 7, okay? And we know that 20 minus 7 is 13, all right? In this second case, we have 7 plus y is going to be 4 plus 24 is 28, all right? So y will be 28 minus 7. And what is 28 minus 7? That is 21. And now, this is where our condition needs to kick in. We are told already that y should be between 10 and 30 okay that is the first condition and looking at 13 yes 13 is between 10 and 30 because look at all the numbers we listed 10 11 12 yes we have 13 that's interesting then yeah y is 21 it's also within that range because you get to 14 18 19 20 21 22 so it's also in that range so these two Actually, we need only, but we are looking for what the least value, and what's the least value between 13 and 21? We can see that using this condition, the least value for our solution is nothing but 13. So the least value is 13 because it is lesser than 21, 
and looking at our options we can see that option b that is 13 and so our answer to this question is option b 13 that is the least value that satisfies this equation that 7 plus y is equal to 4 under modulo 8 all right So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.